Hey what's up guys, I'm Melodox and in this video I'm going to be explaining how I make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. Uh, I want to go ahead and just jump right into it. I have all the programs open that I use when I make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. So the first thing we're going to go to do is we're going to go to PowerPoint. PowerPoint is actually uh, pretty useful. I use it to make my thumbnails. Uh, it's actually how I use, like it's the program that I use to make my thumbnails. I don't use Photoshop or anything, I just use PowerPoint. So the first thing I do is I get a blank slide, uh, there's nothing in it, and then I go to insert and I find a blank image that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the files that I have. So here are a ton of my files that are, are just kind of cool backgrounds. Uh, so let's, I'll, I'll make a, uh, let's see, I'll do this one, this one's pretty clean. So this is this will be a background. This will be the back of the the thumbnail. Uh, so I'll make it an Overwatch thumbnail for an over Overwatch video. So the first thing I want to do is uh, get an image that is transparent or an image that I would like. So let's go to the internet. Let's go to old Google and type in Overwatch uh, hero, and then we'll go to images. All right, so we got all these images, and we want to select one that would be good for the thumbnail. So, for example, let's do this Reaper. Reaper looks good. Uh, can we get a bit? Uh, okay, let's try another one. I don't like that one. Let's do this one. This one's good. All right, so I'm gonna save this image as Anna. We'll just do that. Saved. Okay, so now it's in my images. Let's go back. We're gonna go to now. Another program that I have that I use, so we're going to go to, it's called Photo Scissors. Uh, it's going to allow me to go to the picture, let's go to Anna. Alright, so we got Anna right here, we're going to open her up. Alright, now that we have the image, this is where, this is how you make a transparent image. So, uh, this tool allows me to fill out the places that I want to be uh, taken out of the image. I want this, I want to see this and I don't want to see any of this. So we'll go ahead and quickly do this. Alright, it didn't cut out anything, so I gotta get a little bit more detailed to let it know what I want. Alright, it's getting better. We're getting there. But this tool is really useful. It's um, really quick for me. It's really simple. I just go through and, and with this big giant dot and then go through and select what I don't want, which is really nice. And eventually, it'll it'll cut out all the stuff that I don't want, and it'll leave me Anna, which is what I want. Let's get this out. And I know that you could, if you have Photoshop, obviously you could use Photoshop to cut out. Ooh, we got a little bit of the shoe. You could obviously use Photoshop to do this, uh, but this tool is the one I like to use. I found it; it was on sale, and I I thought, you know, I'll try it because I was having trouble uh, finding transparent images. All right, let's get rid of that one little dot there. All right, let's get rid of this here. That's just a shadow. Oh, all right. So we're gonna zoom in just a little. Get rid of this. Well, too far. Get rid of this in this area. And we'll get the tip of the shoe right there. Clean up the shoe. All right, it's not bad. Let's zoom out. All right, we got this right here. That's it. And a little bit of that right there. Alright, for the most part, that's really good, so we're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to go ahead and save it. Alright, now that we have Anna, we're going to go back to PowerPoint. I'm going to go find Anna again. Alright, so right there it is. You can see the image. That's what it was. That's what it is now. Let's open it up. Alright, we've got a clean image of Anna. That looks really great on this background. So now we have that. Now that we have Anna, uh, let's add one more thing. Wide we'll text. So we'll call it, let's, hold on, let me get this, okay, insert, do this one, alright, so we'll just do Ana Gameplay, and then I'll do, like, I'll do a different, I'll do a different lettering, so, so it looks better, we'll do this one, we'll make it red, make it stand out, let's do red, we'll make it a little bit bigger, let's, let's gap this, okay put that right there. Alright, for the most part, 
I would say this thumbnail's done. It's ready to go. It's ready for YouTube. But, uh, I'd like to do a shadow for this right here. So I'm gonna go to text effects. I want to go to glow. And I want to go to the black. It's a really easy way to get a background. Um, I don't particularly like that one. I don't know why it's, it's showing up really weird. Glow. Alright, that's not, it's not bad. It looks, it looks better than what it did though. So you can, you can see, uh, the background a little better. But, um, this would pretty much be it in the process of making the thumbnail. The thumbnail itself is done. Now this is the process I don't like. But what I have to do is I hit print screen and now I've hit the print screen button and I'll go to paint and from paint I paste what I just did so it printed my entire pick my entire um, uh, screen so I gotta go and I gotta cut this out so I get the tool then I cut it out roughly to the size it doesn't it's not it doesn't have to be like exact I open up a new one after I've saved it, I don't want to save it because I copied and pasted. And then I'm going to paste it. So right there it is. All I got to do is close in the gaps. Yet again, this doesn't have to be perfect because the next thing I'm going to do is going to affect the image anyway. So now we got this. Let's save it. Save it as Anna. Alright, I just saved it. I'm going to exit out of this. Exit out of this. Like I said, I don't care anymore about it. It's done. It's done. Now I'm going to go to Photo Zoom Classic 6. This is another program that I bought. Uh, it was on sale. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys. So here is the first program. This was Photo Zoom, the one that I uh, took out Anna and made her a transparent image. This is the program. Uh, right here is how you can buy it. Uh, it was. 69 I didn't pay $69 but the new one is $69 I think I paid like $29 for mine uh, so it's a lot cheaper than Photoshop but it obviously can't do all the things Photoshop can in its entire entirety but just being able to clean up an image and make a transparent image really quickly I thought was really nice and then photo scissors it's still the same it's 19 bucks I paid $19 for it um, really cool really cool um, but photo I'm sorry so Photo Zoom is actually a program that I use, that I'm about to use and show you guys uh, to resize my images. So let's open up the, the, the Ana. So we got Ana right here. So Ana right here on the left side, you can see it says 12, 18, 684. So a standard HD image is 1280 by 720. So we're going to convert this image to be a 1280 by 720. Now the reason I do this, and I don't do it on paint, and I don't do it on PowerPoint, is because um, if you don't, it, it's a hard process to do it on paint. You can do it on paint, but sometimes it doesn't come out as well because it doesn't adjust to the pixels. It ends up getting blurry and it leaves out some edges. So I simply click HD 1280 by 720 and boom, it's done. It resized it for me and I didn't lose any of my edges. It looks really nice. And then I can save this, save as resized, it's done. So this, this is it, I would be done. The entire process is done, I have my thumbnail now ready to go. So I could go to this one, and there it is. That's the thumbnail, it's done. Now, uh, one thing I would like to point out is if you don't have the photo scissors, you don't have Photoshop, and you really want an image, just go to, um, the, like let's say we'll overwatch and so we'll go to overwatch and then we'll go to PNG uh, PNG files usually are transparent so right there we got a McCree that's transparent you can easily click him save him and you'd have a transparent um, uh, McCree we have a Reaper over here also transparent so if you want an image if you want to find somewhere where someone else had already done the work for you uh, you can do that. You can just type in the word and then PNG and you will find uh, a lot of transparent files that someone's already done for you. Well guys, this is it. This is the final product. I showed you from the beginning to end on how I make my thumbnails. Now it's not the cleanest and easiest process, but this process could easily be shortened down to basically PowerPoint, paint, and then post. I mean it wouldn't be as, as complicated because 
like I used the the photo scissors to cut out Anna, which if you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to buy that program, you obviously you can just go and find uh, uh, PNG files. But um, I found it a lot funner to find what I actually wanted instead of just having to use whatever the internet gave me. Uh, so, and then I used the Photo Zoom Classic, which has been the best thing ever for me. I was using online converters. I was just not really uh, doing the exact measurements for uh, YouTube, which is 1280 by 720. Now, if you go up to like a bigger size, like 1980 by or 1920 by 1080, I think it will it will compress it on YouTube and it will let you use it. But um, this has been a really great tool for me. It, it's really it's been really cool. I recommend it. Um, so guys, this is it. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about uh, my process. And if you would like to maybe purchase some of the programs, let me know what you guys think about them. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Also, go to my channel. Check out all my other stuff. I got plenty more videos on there. I upload every day. And uh, yet again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.